It was the most famous grammar lesson in history, and it happened on this day. But first, we go back to 1585. The first group of colonists sent by Sir Walter Raleigh lands in the New World to create the Roanoke Colony on Roanoke Island, off the coast of present-day North Carolina. The colony would struggle for years until its mysterious disappearance. More on that tomorrow. 1785. Jonathan Trumbull, the governor of both the colony and the state of Connecticut, dies in Lebanon. He was the only colonial governor to support the revolution. The town of Trumbull is named after him, though he never lived nor even visited the area. He and his wife Faith had four sons and two daughters. Firstborn Joseph was the first commissary general of the Continental Army, and their secondborn, Jonathan Jr., would become governor of Connecticut himself. Their daughter, Faith, married General Jebediah Huntington, for whom that town was named. Daughter Mary married William Williams, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, and Trumbull's third son, David, was commissary of the colony of Connecticut, and the baby of the family, John, earned fame as the painter of the American Revolution with a series of paintings, including a rendering of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. 1807, Robert Fulton's North River Steamboat leaves New York, New York, for Albany on the Hudson River. That is the first commercial steamboat service in the world. And finally, we go to 1998. It was a small word, but it caused a big controversy. Your, that statement is a completely false statement. Whether or not Mr. Bennett knew of your relationship with Ms. Lewinsky, the statement that there was no sex of any kind, in any manner, shape or form with President Clinton was an utterly false statement. Is that correct? It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. If the if he if is means is and never has been, that is not a that's one thing. If it means there is none, that was a completely true statement. That is U.S. President Bill Clinton on this day, 1998, admitting in tape testimony that he had an improper physical relationship with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. On the same day, he admits before the nation that he misled people about the relationship, but the exact nature of his relationship depends on your definition of the word is. That's your look back in history, and I is, I'm sorry, am Donald Ng.